previously on Bud House. What are you thinking? If you win, you can dress me in whatever you come up with. If I win, I get to put you in later hosen, teach you like a German dance. Oh, shut up! Oh, shut up! Yeah! God help me. Holy f What's gotten into you, man? Stupid thing. You look pretty stupid. Right, you need to do something with this. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, James and I took a bet right before the English Germany game, since there's this seriously long rivalry going on between the two countries and, and soccer, um, that whoever the loser is is going to have to dress in the other person's team colors. Unfortunately to James, Germany won 4 to 1. So it was his turn to uh, wear my dad's lederhosen. I know, my dad's gonna be like, why is that dude wearing my later hosen? <laughs> yeah, my dad's gonna be saying the same thing. Why is, that, why is my son wearing a later hosen and a Germany t shirt? <laughs> oh my god. You kind of do it like German right Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll ever say something like that to me. I lost the bet, which is why I'm dressed like this. We have a little surprise. There's this English man here in the house today who's just dying to sing a song. Klaus! <laughs> James looked like he walked out of like a Heidi movie. <laughs> and one, two, three! There were 11 English losers on the field. There were 11 English losers on the field. There were 11 English losers, 11 English losers, 11 English losers on the field. Yeah! <laughs> right now I feel utterly humiliated. Just the worst possible thing for me, really. I feel like I could have dressed up as a woman. I would have no problem at all with that. Yes, it's weird, but I wouldn't have a problem. But to be dressed as a German fan when you're English is just horrible. You know what? You're a good sport. Coming up on Bud House. You guys will have to put together a costume that best represents the spirit of your country.